kitchen this morning. Well, I hope so, because I'm eating some of whatever yes. you're cooking. Oh, we definitely did, Alan. We got some good stuff. And let me tell you something. We are not going to drop any of this on the floor, because we want to eat it all. We are joined by the folks at California Tortilla once again, as we get into what's cooking today. Keith Goldman with us once again. Now, we talked earlier about not just assembling, but you're going to show us how to cook some of this stuff as well. That's right. And the star of this burrito is the, it's got to be the blackened chicken, the blackened right? Blackened chicken, that's all right, the key. So, let's get started. How do we make it? First thing, you got to have good products. So we start with chicken breast, nothing but all white meat chicken breast. Okay. If you're making this at home, maybe about a pound. You have to have a cast iron skillet. And a giant bowl, obviously. A giant bowl. Yeah, you don't have to have a giant bowl, but a cast iron skillet is key. Okay. A Why is that key? Why does it make a difference? Because the heat distributes evenly over the pan of its cast iron. Okay. okay. Good okay. to know. So that's a good thing. And then we're just going to put about five tablespoons of our blackened seasoning over and one pound of chicken. this is probably just some top secret spice that you have, right? Absolutely. But is there anything can, we could substitute, though, that we could want to try to... You can find a Cajun blend at just about any grocery store. Okay. Uh, so we, you're just using the big bowl so you can evenly get the spice right. on the and chicken, right? That's another key. You want to dust it. You don't want to rub it into the flesh. You want to have, like, a crust. Okay. And then, so in case you can't see what the camera's doing, it's just flipping it in there. You just have a little bit of oil in this pan. You don't need much, just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to throw it in a very hot pan. And then we'll just let it go. And how long would we cook this for? About three, four minutes. Oh, that's it? That's about it. You okay. just keep tossing it. Best way to check to see if the chicken is done, just pull one piece out, cut it in half, and see if it's cooked all the way through. So the actual spice that you put in there, though, we didn't have to put any um, anything wet in there or anything like that. It's just the chicken, the spices, mix it up, and we're that's good to it. go. That's all blackening is. All right. Well, we'll let that cook. In the meantime, we do have some stuff that you already prepared, so you can show us how to assemble a burrito at that's home. That's correct. And once again... The key to making a good uh, burrito, if you're going to wrap it, mm -hmm. is to start by heating up the tortilla. Do we need to put any oil on the tortilla? Nothing at all. Like we that? don't use much oil in any of our cooking okay. at the restaurant. Just get a little bit warm? Get warm, to get the fibers loosened up, okay. make it, you know, so it's stretch. All right. And then, now, we've asked people before, and everybody, when they make burgers, they say it's all the important, the order that you put the ingredients in. Absolutely. It's critical. The same thing with you? Absolutely. All right. What do we want to do then? Well, first thing we're going to do is start with a nice seasoned Mexican rice. And the way we do it at California Tortilla, uh -huh. you put everything in the middle. It's our secret way of wrapping Is that so that it ends up blending at some point? Exactly. Is that the key? So we're not uh, you want to loading get up on one side? Absolutely. And we should mention this is one of your signature dishes that you have as this well, This is right? it. We sell thousands of these every week. All right. So, so just talk us through what else you're putting. We've got black beans. We've got black beans. we got the blackened chicken. We're now going to put some Monterey Jack cheese. Which is always good stuff. Always good. Try to find the best Caesar dressing you can find at the store. Okay. Just put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of that. For a little... Keeps it all together. That's right. Some veggies. Salsa. Fresh salsa, pico de gallo, fresh Roma tomatoes, onions, cilantro. And you guys make all this yourself Absolutely. too, right? Absolutely. We make it two, three times every day. All right. Now, this is the key. Roma Go ahead. Lettuce. Put the lettuce in there. Now, how are you going to wrap it? First thing you do, first step is key. Right now, we're, we're praying to the burrito guy. <laughs> That's the first thing you got to do to make sure the burrito won't bust. That's what Allison does when she drops food on the ground, you know, and, and then it makes it right. edible. And we're kind of, you know, making it spread out. Then you're going to switch it over. You're going to flap it over like this. Okay. We're going to stretch this out over. It. And they're just going to roll it up roll it. nice and tight like that. And you put some effort into that, too, to keep that a tight roll. That's perfect, though. It looks nice. That's it. All right, we're going to dig into that in a little bit. All right, something that we would not expect to find at California Tortilla. This, we would expect to find. Right. We would not expect to find Pop-Tarts at California pop -tarts. Tortilla. Pop-Tarts. It's a natural. Why are we having Pop-Tarts at California Tortilla tomorrow? We Tomorrow's Pop-Tart Day. It's our 13th annual Pop-Tart Day. Why is that? Because we like to have fun. You know, it's not just about burritos. It's about having fun. We do crazy stuff like this all the time. And this is just a promotion that started Absolutely. a long time ago? We had rock, paper, scissors last month. Let's uh, pull the camera out a little bit to show our friend Chippy here who has uh, come by to help out. And what's Chippy going to show us right Chippy now? Chippy is going to demostrate how to properly prepare the Pop-Tarts. And, and that, gonna, that would be what, Chippy? What do we want to do here? Well, we're going to be giving out about 15,000 Pop-Tarts Well, tomorrow. it looks like he's so doing something wrong So we want to make sure there. everyone knows how to do it. So our number one tip is to be sure... You follow the directions on the box and mm -hmm. remove it from the pouch that makes sense. before putting it in the toaster. <laughs> All right. Well, Chippy's going to work on that. Anybody that comes out to California Tortilla tomorrow gets a free Pop-Tart. Try the burritos or anything else that you like. We're going to stir this up and get some good blackened chicken here. Thanks so much. Thank Stick you. around. Appreciate and we'll it. We'll check in. Uh, we'll taste it just a little bit. Right